Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape Oil Painting Demonstration with your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and welcome as well to Day 16 of the Past Masters series. The uh, painting I did a study after today was by John Francis Murphy, a big favorite here on this channel, and I don't know the title. It's just called Landscape. I couldn't, I couldn't find the title. And this happens a lot with some of these mm, lesser known painters. As you know, matter of fact, I mean, John Francis Murphy's a heck of a lot better known than a lot of other guys. But uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's hard. It's not like there's a site out there that's a completest site for John Francis Murphy, like there is for Ines or for Corot. Um, it would be great. I, he's really due some sort of uh, revivalist uh, resurgence, and um, I'm a huge fan of Murphy. Uh, if you if you've been with me for any amount of time, you would know that. Uh, interestingly, though, this painting it, it it's it reminds me of like one of these sort of '70s landscapes you would see, you know, where people were using a toothbrush or something to paint it. Uh, if you want to see his original, by the way, you've got to go to my um, uh, my website, landscapepainter.co.nz, and uh, I'll be creating a blog post where I'll be um, putting this video and uh, some larger um, pictures of my painting or my study, but also at the bottom of that post you will see his original painting. Uh, and uh, it's, it's very interesting. It does look like you, you went after it with some sort of spatter thing or something. I mean, I, uh, I just did my impression of it like I always do in these, um, you know, past master studies. I really, uh, I make some effort. I make a good effort, actually, to, to um, make a, a good copy of their painting. However, I'm working a lot smaller and I don't worry too much about being exact. There's a lot of discrepancies and differences and it's not like I'm one of these um, Chinese painters that's getting paid to make an exact copy of some sort of painting or the other. Uh, I'm just a, 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 you know, I'm just a, a modern a tonalist painter who's uh, you know, trying to absorb some of the um, the greatness from the masters, and uh, I have to say that as far as strategies go, that's been a winner. So, um, if you're a, a painter out there and you've been um, wanting to get better, it's a great strategy, uh, and I recommend making copies after the or studies. Studies is the professional way to say copies, I guess. Um, after some of the best painters you can find and uh, it's definitely going to force you to um, do things you wouldn't normally be comfortable doing for one and for two uh, it gets you some muscle memory of how to make a really good painting <laughs> so uh, and it, it's uh, it's helping develop your sense of aesthetics to a greater degree it's one thing to look at a painting and go wow that's amazing that's so much better than anything I could do you know it's entirely another to say well that's amazing I'm gonna try and do it you know that's um, that's an evolution of that sort of thing and uh, well worth the time as a matter of fact in the old days uh, uh, before the the modern era um, every this was a part of everyone's education was to go into the museum and make uh, make studies uh, or copies after uh, the works of masters and and almost every great artist did it I'm sure John Francis Murphy had to have done it and uh, um, anyway he's awesome uh, there's uh, no books on John Francis Murphy I do have a uh, if you go to my uh, channel uh, to the playlist section I've created a playlist of oh maybe about 17 different studies or so I've done after Murphy and I've got to update that at some point and uh, add these new ones from the past masters, especially now that I've decided to make the past masters series open-ended. So I'm saying day 16 because uh, uh, this was originally going to be the third volume of the 25 Days of Tonalism um, 
funny enough, those days are spread out uh, over a year. <laughs> so it's more like 25 weeks of totalism or something like that. In fact, I, um, I can't say that I paint, took 25 days in a row and did these paintings or anything like that. Uh, uh, but, you know, I'm back into it. I did a couple studies this last week. Uh, one after Ralph Albert Blakelock, and then um, a big one yesterday after Georgianessa, my favorite Georgianess painting, and I talked about that in the video I put up yesterday, so I won't bore you with that again, but it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I, I definitely tried very hard to get the whole painting done a la prima, um, but uh, ultimately... I, I've got to let it dry. I'll be coating it with some liquid and then I'll be finishing it up and uh, It's a little tighter than I'd want it to be. This is something that ha can happen if you're really um, uh, Working hard to replicate something you can get too tight. And you'll lose that um, But it's not too tight to be a nice study after this painting and it looks I walked into my studio this morning saw it and says ah what an attractive painting that is and why would I think that well because it's a, a study after my favorite painting so I love the colors I love the composition and one thing that's very interesting um, I did it in this uh, 7 by 10 format which is a little less um, height than a 5 by 7 format um, you know, you take the two 5 by 7s side by side, you get a 7 by 10 that ends up being a little more horizontal. And uh, funny enough, when I was setting up uh, some of these uh, Anesses for this, uh, you know, the ongoing past master stuff, um, I noticed he very, very, very consistently used the same proportions over and over. And they are a direct correspondent to the uh, 7 by 10 or 8 by 12. And, um, uh, it's very interesting. He liked that proportion and I could see uh, because I was I set up everything as a 5 by 7 and then when I got in the studio I was gonna do um, you know this uh, Edward Mitchell banister and I thought nah I don't want to do that and then uh, then the next one in line was this Ines and I'm like well I want to I want to give this some room to breathe so I grabbed one of my uh, prepped 7x10 boards and I went at it and uh, I'm so glad I did because uh, I've done it as a 5x7 before so this time I get a little, chance, a little elbow room a little room to maneuver and it's looking good you'll see it yeah you'll see it today is Saturday by the way uh, March 17th I'm guessing yes in the year of our Lord and uh, I actually think I will not be going back in the studio today I'm gonna get to some other stuff done in fact I think I'm going to put some new art up on Art Finder. So if you follow me over there, stay tuned uh, because I'm getting ready to, to make some moves there. And I may even update my own store, my own site a little bit too. I know that it's been a while since I've done that. So uh, anyway, thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. If you like this video, please click like. And if you think of anyone else that might want to see it, share it, share it around. I'll be back real soon with another video. Meanwhile, please take good care and stay out of trouble.